There are stories about the secret stones and a forbidden act called draconification. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. What is up guys, Zack Scott here, playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and uh, wow, last episode we got a new, I don't know, they're not here with me, but we got uh, we, we got the Spirit of Mineru, and uh, that's exciting, and we also learned about Zelda doing the forbidden thing or whatever, I don't know, don't look too far into it, I don't know, but we're going to tell Pyrrha about what's been going on, and uh, she's going to want to know what happened here. So, did you find any clues at the Zonai Ruins in Farron about our elusive fifth sage, Miniru? Yeah, I met Miniru. I met her. She's cool. What? The sage of spirit was revived? This is... Incredible! That means we have the five sages. Fantastic work, Link. I can't believe this is actually one of the sages who faced against faced off against the Demon King alongside Princess Zelda. And now we have news about the the princess. There's some relief in that, at least. So, in the ancient past, Princess Zelda worked to restore the decayed Master Sword and return it to your hand, trusting that you would defeat the Demon King in the present day. She did she did so much all on her own. She, well, she wasn't on her own, I guess, but. The restored Master Sword is somewhere in this era. I'm sure of it. To start, you should probably talk to the Deku Tree about it, as Miniru advised. The Deku Tree is in the center of the Great Hyrule Forest to the north of here. Princess Zelda left us with her final wish. It's up to us now. Talk to the Deku Tree, and he may have a lead. You have to find the Master Sword. And so we will do that eventually. And by the way, I, I um, off camera, I upgraded my battery a little bit more. Crisis at Hyrule Castle is complete. Thankfully, I thought it was done already. Uh, so yeah, we gotta, we're gonna have to track down the Master Sword, but as you guys, as numerous of you people have, <laughs> you people, numerous people have said in the comments, uh, I really need to get the Dragon Tears thing. Hey, let's talk to this guy really quick. What's up? What's up with you? Uh, offer pose. And then what we will get is a dark clump. No, I mean, that, that's cool. Dark Tunic, Tunic of the Depths? I could get either one of these, honestly. And uh, this has Gloom Resistance, which I, I kind of want, honestly. Let's do that. There we go. And Dark Tunic has what? I don't know. I'm not so sure what it does have. But I think this is a good trade, the Tunic of the Depths, which has Gloom Resistance. Some. Not, not enough. But uh, let's go ahead then. And we, we want to do the, the Dragon Tears, hopefully in order. Let me go see what the store has over here. I don't think I have very many more. Um, we got Man, we got a lot to do in this game. We're The next several episodes probably will be about doing Dragon Tears, honestly, so that we can get the full story going on. I'm so worried. Luralyn's in a bad spot. What's up? Uh. I'm worried about everyone back home in Luralyn Village. I keep hoping they got away from the pirates. Mm. Me too. We're so fortunate to have refuge here. I can't say the same for everyone else. The village is way out to the edge of East Nakluda, to the southeast, and there's nobody, nowhere nearby for them to run to. Mm. Rozel's the village leader, so he'd be the first to know how things shook out back home. But we've ne we've got no way to reach him. Never thought something like this would happen in our peaceful little hometown. Mm. Hmm? Are you a customer? You must have overheard the bad news. We were speaking freely because we didn't figure any customers would come by at this hour. But enough about that. So village attacked by pirates. Of course, yeah. We got to do that one. Oh. Eventually. Hey, welcome. You're up bright and early today. Go ahead. Buy lots and lots. Oh. I had, a, I had a, to close up shop in my hometown. It just wasn't possible to do business there anymore. Your hometown? Ah. I come from a small fishing town called Luralin Village. It's way to the south on the southeastern corner of Hyrule. Used to be a peaceful place too. Uh. Then the pirates arrived. I used to run the village's general store, but when those pirates arrived, I had to grab all the goods I could carry and run. I I don't know how it's going there now. Uh. I hope I can return someday, but for now, I'll just keep selling as much stuff as I can. Please, let me know if there's anything you'd like. Anything else you need? I'm good. Uh. I'm good. So like I said, we're gonna be focused on getting the Dragon Tears, and I don't know exactly where it is, but I think the next one's like in this area, pretty close to where I've marked uh, this shrine, and what we could do is we could go to 
uh, this Skyview Tower probably find it pretty easily, honestly. So we've been uh, all up here. There's got to be... Um, well, first up, we, we know there's a shrine here. Um, it's kind of e equidistant between this tower. Actually, it's closer to this tower. So we're just going to go to this tower. Hopefully going to find the Dragon Tier there. Get a little more of the story. Do a little more of the exploration because... Uh, I know that we, and we also need to work on the great fairies because I'm weak. I, I swear I'm weak. <laughs> I feel weak in this game and it's because I haven't upgraded my armor as much as I should from what I assume. Uh, so we're going to go over there. We're going to find, this is going to be the Puripad thing. And, uh, I don't know if I can see it now. Probably not. Probably we need to get up, 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 up in the sky. So let's do that. And let's see here. Uh, market. That's a, is that a fairy thing right there? I don't even know. There, there it is. That's so easy to see. So we're going to go over here. Just going to take a little, take a little break here. Right down there is a pure pad, right? So I don't even know if I've been down there. But it is really close to the shrine that I've marked. So, uh, let's head down. There's a couple, there's another place to land here. I'm going to land here and see if it, this makes much sense. It seems like there's a treasure here. There might be a treasure next to us as well. This is an, is this another tower here? Hold on one second. No way, that's another tower. What is this? Okay, a mighty spear with durability up, which is pretty cool. Um... I could ditch this strong one, honestly. Let's ditch this one and pick up this one with the durability up. And then uh, over here, another treasure. What is that a tower? Is that the one we were just at? <laughs> All right, let's grab this. This is a, okay, a strong attack up. Uh, what do we want to replace? Let me replace, uh, This one, I guess, right? Or how about this one? This one has good durability, but it's not as strong. So let's ditch this one. There you go. Sure, I'll take it. Anything else to look for? I don't know. But over there is a pure, the pure pad looking glyph. And oh, you know what? I forgot I could glide. There you go. Let's go find that dragon tier, my friends. See what's over here, see what kind of memory we can get because uh, I want to remember what happened in the past a long, long time ago. Where is this? Hold on, let's go over here one second. I, I also want to kind of explore this area while we're here. There is a, uh, there's a stable that way. Anything up here? No Korok or anything like that? Oh, this thing's here. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, so, let's see if we can figure out where the, the tier is. There it is, right there in the center. So, that seems pretty straightforward, honestly. Let's get over to it. That'll help us out. And then I don't know if there's like a good main trail to be on or if there's other, you know, things that we could do in this area. And there's a trail just on the other side of this, I think. So if we could get on a trail or something, then, then maybe we'll find more sign guys. But the, uh, the dragon tier location is quite obvious to me. Let's trigger it. Let's see what we can remember from long, long ago. Here we go. And the, the commenter said that this would answer some of my questions that I had.
It's a switch. It is quite an interesting device. This is definitely not from this era. That said, I believe there may be a way to get the travel functionality working here. I'd like to tinker with it a bit. Would it be okay if I borrow it? Yes, whatever you need. I really appreciate your help. Then I'll hold on to it. So you really believe my story? That I came from the future? I never doubted you for a moment. Minoru, do you know of a way we could help to return Zelda back to her time? I suspect it was the power of your secret stone that allowed you to travel through time. To put it simply, secret stones amplify the power their owners possess. I am able to separate my spirit from my body. Raru can repel or destroy evil with his power of light. And Sonia, she can control time. As for you, I can sense both light and time powers. Mm. Huh. But your secret stone seems to amplify your time power. Time power? Ultimately, the secret stone only amplifies your power. It doesn't suddenly grant you mastery and control. That's still up to you. That means, if you don't already know how to get yourself home... Uh-oh. <laughs> There are stories about the secret stones and a forbidden act called draconification. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. Oh my gosh. What? Interesting. Another way to reach the future, though not a very quick one. So you think these stories could hint at a solution to our dilemma? Yes. But there is still more to those tales. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. That is why it is forbidden. Is that- I thought maybe this could lead to a solution. Some way to transcend time. But if you have to sacrifice your heart and mind, sacrifice what makes you, you. I'm sorry. I wish I could help more. Are you kidding me? where we started. Is that dragon that I keep seeing Zelda? There's still hope. I think the answer, the answer to this problem lies in study and learning more about the nature of your power. What the heck? I'm sure Sonya would be happy to help you. <sighs> okay. Mind blown. Is that dragon in the sky, Zelda? I've seen this dragon kind of flying around is that Zelda? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> what? The, tell me that's not true. Do, she lost her? Well, no way. I don't know where the dragon is right now. Oh my gosh. Do you think that's Zelda? Oh my goodness. I'm not happy to learn that. <laughs> that's sad. If that's if that's what really happened, that's it's got me all twisted. It's over there. Is that I've been there, right? That's a uh if I'm looking this way, yeah, that's a stable. And then there's also a stable kind of over here from what I understand. And we could go check it out. Uh, it would seem that the stable is... Man, see, I had it. When I was up on that... When I was up here, I could see a stable, like, over this way. Too bad I can't just recall myself. And I've been to that tower, right? Hold on. Have I been to that tower? What am I looking at? I'm looking straight this way. So I've been to this tower. I kind of want to go back to this tower and see if I can find a, uh, see if I can see that stable.
I'm disturbed <laughs> that that dragon that 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 idea is in my head now that that dragon could be Zelda because we know that she was gonna go forward with the forbidden fruit or whatever the forbidden act and now I'm just like oh no oh no indeed uh let's go up here and then uh whoa watch out for all that stuff Um, let's see. Where? Hold on. That's north. So we want to go this way. So there's the pure thing. So where is this? Uh, there it is over here. So I don't think I've been down here. And I'm very curious to see. I think this is going to be another uh, stable. There's also another tower over there. I know I want to go to Hitino eventually. Wait, that might not be the stable. That's not it. Where is it? Well, there's a shrine over here that we could do. Uh, did I? I swore I saw a stable. There it is. Perfect. And there is a shrine over here, too, that we can do. So, let's go over here. I want to explore this area. There we go. There's Beetle making his way to the stable. And now I have a robot on my back. Holy moly. I need to reach my friend. Yeah, I'm sure you do, Korok. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get up. Where, where's your friend? Where is he? Okay, that's pretty far. Yeah. <sighs> that's pretty far. Um. Well, you know. If I do Alter Hand, Auto Build rather, I can build this thing, which is one of my favorites. I want to remove this one from my favorite, so cancel this one as a favorite. This is the old build. This is the new build. And then I can take him, I think, and uh, put him on here. And I have a little more battery now, by the way. And then we can get him up over this direction if my battery lasts that long. Holy cow. That's a big if on if my battery lasts that long. I think we'll be fine. There we go. I think we're ba just barely going to be fine with this. Thankfully, I upgraded my battery. Ow. Hey, there's a chest here. Excellent. Rocket times three. The good news is I still have this vehicle, so let's, uh, and we'll take it back. There's my friend. There you go, buddy. I got this for you. Got two Korok seeds for the good deed. Hi, I gotta tell you something. I've been hearing that Korok Forest up north from Hyrule Castle has been really weird lately. I'm kind of worried about everyone in the forest. All right. Thanks for the tip. Where's my vehicle? What do you do with my vehicle? Did it fall? Did it fall down the... It did. Okay. Well, thanks for the tip. Um, let's head back. There's someone running. Why are they running? Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, the gloom. Hey, 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 hey. I'm, ca I'm catching up to you. What's wrong? Savak. Savak. 
Hey, you. Where do you think you're headed? If you're planning to take the road to Death Mountain, don't. The, the increase in monsters will, uh, has laid the whole thing to waste. And you have to be extra careful around that grasping reddish-black monsters that crawl along the ground. If you're attacked by one of those, you're not making it back alive. All right. Thanks for the heads up. She was running. I thought she was. I thought something might be wrong. Let's go. I don't see any sign guys right now, but I'll be on the lookout for them. Oh. Here we are. I like to register this as my horse. <laughs> like, like for real. Mind, body as one. Ha, ha! From now on, we of the survey team must pursue excellence on two fronts at once, mind and body. Princess Zelda, in all of her brilliance, has given us marching orders. We ex must live to her expectations. Phew, hello there, traveler. You have an interest in the brilliant guidance of Princess Zelda too? The order she gave to the survey team was this, word for word. Oh. We will only find our future if we chart a new course, leaving the safety of indoor study for exploration in the wild. So prepare your mind and body, and then explore in underpants. <laughs> Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Zelda's a perv. Uh, and Traveler, I will tell you, when Princess Zelda gave us, gave our team those marching orders, we marched. So that's why we're here, surveying monsters in our underpants. Oh. Why not join our efforts here? Our survey work has never felt more adventurous than in our underpants. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so I mean, I'm just going to doubt that one. <laughs> that may not have not been the real Zelda. Let's just be real. Maybe it wasn't the real Zelda. All right, let's uh, check in really quick. Uh, I get a point, right? Yeah, one pony point. Which stable is this again? Uh, I'm okay. I'm, I don't need to register a horse. But we do have a bit of a mystery on our hands. I'm beat. I'm sure you are. Let's uh, let's taking this with me. I don't want it to despawn. It probably will despawn no matter what I do, though. Watch it. Pen, what's up? There you are, partner. Have you seen all the men in underpants at the stable? Yes. Oh. We're lacking women. That's the problem. I've been listening to the chirps and warbles from my sources. They said that Princess Zelda ordered all the members of the Zonai survey team here to dress that way. Hmm. This spot used to see a lot of travelers coming through here on their way to Goron City, but they're mostly taking a new road now, so monsters have been making their home in the area. I've been telling folks that it's too dangerous around here to walk around in just their underpants. They won't listen to me, though. They insist they're following Princess Zelda's orders. Mm. I've also heard that some of these underdressed men have set off to explore a place near here. Mm. Yeah, that looks bad. They went to look into a monster den up on the mountain road, and they haven't come back yet. Why would Princess Zelda give such a reckless order to the survey team? These chirps and warbles are going to give us, uh, us a real story to report on. I just know it. Chirps and warbles indeed. Uh, let me take this. And I will see what I can see. What is that? Anyway, let's go see if I can find... Uh, Is there a monster den coming up? Maw of Death Mountain? Is this where we're going? My bike's almost out of juice. Oh, great. Just in time. Just in time. Where's your friend? Right over there. That's a pretty long ways away, but I will take you. I have my bike with me. So let's get it going. Uh, let's... I call it a bike. It's basically it's an air bike of some sort. Let's put you on the front and center. Let's go. Hey. Hey, get off of there, you nobo.
All right, let's go. Thank you. Let's just... All right. This isn't so bad. Off we go and away we go. They probably wanted me to build a boat. But I have an air bike. I'm taking it with me. Here he is. Do you recognize him? Is he close enough? He's still waiting. Okay. Hello. Hello, wolf. Don't get over here. You do not want to mess with me. I have like a... I have like... A, I won't be the one who delivers the kill shot. Someone else kill him. Oh, why? You terrible, terrible. Okay, I'll take that, though. <laughs> there we go. I'm innocent. I didn't do anything. That was close. There you go. And then there you go. Two more Korok seeds under my belt. Yeah, I know. They're really worried about Korok Forest. I think everyone I'm gonna see from now on is gonna be terribly worried about Korok Forest. Which, uh, Foothill Stable. Was there, let me look at my adventure log. Um, I still need to do this one. Yeah, I'm doing that one for our princess. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. Stable and Farron. And Farron is... Down here. And we actually haven't found the Stable and Farron. It's probably... Well, huh. I haven't found the Stable and Farron yet. So, once I do, that'll be the answer to that fairy. There's not a fairy over here, I don't think. But there is a shrine that we gotta do. Um, so anyway, let's get back to where we were, what we were doing. And that would be this way. This thing uses a lot of batteries. Which is why I need more, and I'll get more. I'm gonna make a, take a little break up here really quick. Right there. Oh my god. Oh wow. Uh. Alright. <laughs> what the heck? That was funny. There's some luminescent stones or whatever. Alright, let's go. So we're heading into some sort of a monster den. Whoa, whoa, this way. All right, all right, wait a second. Like I said, I'm taking, I don't want this to despawn, but it's probably, if I have to go in somewhere, it's probably gonna despawn. The reason I wanted to despawn is because it costs like nine zonite, which is not that expensive, but at the at the moment I'm trying to conserve as much zonite as possible. And here's the men up here in their underpants. Sup, guys. Whoa. What's up? Uh -huh. Princess Zelda has given orders, so here we go, Sengo. Uh -huh. It won't be scary if we both go together all at once on the count of three. One, two, three. Uh huh, Sengo, why didn't you go? Y you didn't move either, Drant. Uh, what's going on? They scared. What? Oh, it's it's you. I thought it was a monster. We're trying to conduct research on the monsters holed up in this cave, but look at us. We're hardly geared up to deal with any threats. We can't bring ourselves to go in there. Our research is at a standstill. Ah. Princess Zelda sent out very specific directions for us on the survey team, and it's this, word for word. We will only find our future if we chart a new course, leaving the safety of indoor study for exploration in the wild. So prepare your mind and body and then explore in underpants. 
All right, I know Princess Zelda wants us to do it this way, but we, we're really only members of the... Oh. Okay, it's scary enough to deal with monsters with equipment. I, I get it, I get it. Mm. I'll try, I'll try. Ooh. Are you serious? You'll need to go in wearing as little as possible. I'm sure oh. about that. Here we go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm going in in my underpants or whatever I'm going in. I don't know what I'm going to wear or what I'm going to do or if I can even pull this off. Do I, do I have food? Ah. I still got my arm. Just give me a shout when you want your equipment back. Oh. We'll hold back and learn your methods from a distance. We're just not as confident on the whole physical side of this. All right, for our princess, and I don't have any. I don't have any food. I do have key items, <laughs> but I don't have anything. I don't have any. I can't even heal. All right, uh, is it going to give me anything at all? <laughs> There's a bat up there. Okay, I'll I'll take that. I'm gonna try to sneak. Stealth, my friends. They just, they just went to sleep. He just well shoot no no no. All right. Got a thick stick. No 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 no. And there is meat there if I need it. Am I supposed to defeat these monsters? All right. That that's a bit of health. Baked apple. A uh, wooden stick. So let me infuse this stick. There you go. It's a little bit better, a little bit stronger. I think I can just take this guy out, right? Got some arrows. Executed. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, shoot. Now they see me. Crap. There you go. Oh, shoot. That guy's armored or something. Oh, my God. Uh, let me, uh, where's my other weapon? Uh, I got a spear here, and we're going to infuse it with this boulder. Holy God. Ow. I'm gonna break your armor, you dork. This, the big guy's chasing me. Big guy's chasing me. Move, 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 move. Out of my way. Out of my way. Big guy's about to hurt me. Okay, thank you. And I'm just gonna break open some boxes while I'm here. Arrows, perfect. Is it just the big guy left? Nailed it. Oh, I'm out of... How's he blocking? I'm aiming at his face. Alright. Toasting mushrooms, steak, amber, all that stuff. Great. Seared steak. Apple. Ha! Surprise! No way. He's not even hitting me. Gotcha, you dork. Okay, so I did it, I think. Oh, I didn't even see that broadsword, dude. All right, great. Now, is this a cave cave? As in, there's going to be like a... I don't know if this is a cave cave. This might be the first cave that I've gone in that isn't a real cave in, in the sense that it's on the map. There we go. Oh, uh, maybe it is on the map. Oh, yeah, look at that. Maybe they'll give me my gear back and I can go up in there. So there's not any sort of examples of a cave. That's, my, my vehicle's gone. 
Oh. Wow, you survived. I actually beat them. <laughs> what? You really defeated the monsters wearing only your underpants? I'm going to tell the other members of the team about your stunning work here. Please join us back at Foothill Stable. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, then I'll return the gear that was holding for you. Mm. We'll head back to the Foothill Stable and wait for you there. Great. And then uh, I will gladly accept that. And I will go up here with a bomb. Flower. And climb, climb, climb. Sure enough. Sure enough, this dude's here. Not anymore. Dang, I keep trying to hit that guy. Got a booble gem. And it is in the middle of the night. Maybe that guy's... I can trade in gems for him. But anyway, I got the thing out of the cave. We gotta do that shrine by the stable. Alrighty. I'm just curious what else is over here because I haven't really been over here. And it almost seems like the end of a trail or whatever, but is it ever really the end? There's a car missing some stuff that's controllable. I can just find the other wheels. There's a shrine up there. I just like to mark these things so that eventually I'll get I'll get to them, you know. I don't know where the other wheels for this are. See if I can ascend up here. What is this? Oh, there's the wheels. What am I gonna build here? This is a, this is awesome sounding. Hold on, let me let me just build this. I'm about to build something cool, I think. And why? I don't know yet. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> and then, can I ascend up here? We may not need to. Hey, a treasure. What do we get? Rocket times three. I don't really know what we're going to be doing, but I'm going to make this vehicle here just because it's here. The arrows are pointing this way. What? What the heck? Are you kidding me, dude? Those guys always scare me. They just pop out of nowhere. There's another one. I, I thought I broke your head. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. <laughs> I don't know. All right. And then we also have uh, this part, which is, which is who knows what. All right, let's drive this. <laughs> All right, come here, deer. Come here. <laughs> I got him. Seared prime steak. That's deer steak right there. All right, and we could probably be this kind of like an all-terrain type vehicle, so we can go up here. What am I doing? What is that? What is that?
What am I looking at? What is that? <laughs> what? I still don't know what it is. Alright. Let's find out what that is. What is this? What is that? What the heck is that? What the heck is this? Here, maybe I attach it to the vehicle? What is this? Oh, it's like a cork. Wait. Yeah, take the arrow. Oh. There's gotta be a Korok thing, right? There we go. There we go. That was cool. Korok seed. Yeah, I know. I know the forest is a weird place. I get it. Watch out, dogs. And oh, this guy's here, too. And he's going... To, what is with all these bones? Anyway, uh... Well, there's another cave here. I don't know that, that my vehicle will be available if I come back, but whatever. We'll see. Ooh. Is this a hot place? This is a hot place, dude. This is hot. I'm hot. Okay, hold on. Let me uh, look at my gear. I'm burning up, dude. I got this. I got this. Is this enough flame guard? Nope. I'm on fire. Uh What is happening? Um Why am I on fire? Like two flame guards isn't enough? What about, do I have a potion? I don't have a fire potion, I don't think. I mean, am I gonna take damage from this? Like. I am really hot, but I, I think maybe I'm fine. Let's just get in here and get out. Wow. I think I'm fine. Uh, where is Yunobo? Yunobo, we need you really quick. Oh, cool. He's wearing his mask, too. Excuse me. All right. Let me switch over to this. Are you ready, Unobo? Hey. 
Wow, this place is deep. Holy cow. You know, Bo, you need to do a little more. I can't do all this. Hey, Sapphire. Oh man, this place cuts deep. You know, but let's go again. Wow, okay. The thing is, I don't have a lot of throwaway weapons anymore that I can just like... I feel like I can just waste. You know, to, to make a cobble crusher or something. Oh, here it is, here's one. No, that isn't, no that's not one. Okay, hey. Dang it, you know, Bo. Well, this sword's almost gone. Let's. There you go. Sure. If I if I want to do another weapon, I guess I could just do. Uh, let's do this one, and then we'll fuse it with the uh, rock. There we go, we got to the other side of this. Oh, okay. It's to find a shrine. I gotta find a shrine for it, I guess. Oh boy. Uh, well, I can tell you, this place looks a little dangerous. Oh, shoot that. Oh dang, he exposed himself for a second. Go get him. Go get him. Uh, and then weapon-wise, you know, I have this, which is awesome. All right, and then put it back to this. <laughs> yep. There's a fire hydrant. Perfect. Nah. I mean, I could. Yeah, I don't know. Let me grab all these bright bloom seeds, and I'm gonna grab the, the the mech, the new the new mech dude, Mineru's spirit, Mineru's vow, and then the hydra is gonna be my left hand. There we go. Why are we doing this? I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know yet. Where is this going? I don't know yet. We decided to do this adventure without knowing what was behind the door, so or behind the cave, so. Can I even, I mean, maybe I can just walk across this with Mineru, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, okay. Mineru could just walk. Uh, let's get off. No, not smack, no, what? No. All right, that wasn't what I meant to do, clearly. I paid the price. Where'd all my food go? There's, here, let's eat that one. All right, let's go again. And then there's, I bet it's the shrines over here that needs that rock. Yeah, that's it. Moshepin Shrine. 
So we will go and get the uh, get the rock. Now that we have a good trail. I wonder if I can put that on my back and just carry it, you know? Probably not. But we have a good trail, so let's just, uh, we'll just follow this. I mean, this is as good as anything, right? I'll see if I can put that on my back. No. All right, so. Well, wish me luck. I'm just gonna walk across this, I guess. I mean, it looks safe enough, right? I'm on fire, I'm actually on fire. Oh no. There we go. And then, whoa. Whoa, 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 hey, come back, come back. So we got this shrine to do. And then we got another shrine uh, by the stable. All right. Oh. All right, hold on. I know, I know, Here, here's the beam or whatever. I brought the stone already. <laughs> there you go. And we still have to explore this cave for uh, the booble. There we go. And then inside is gonna be uh, a shrine like you've never seen before. No, I don't know. <laughs> All I know is I gotta try to get through it without using recall if possible. That's the, uh, that's the real challenge. I don't know. Oh, is it a blessing? Nice. I'll take a Raru's blessing. What do we get? So I have, uh, you know. Excuse me. Let's get rid of. Uh, let's just get rid of this high durability one. I guess. And then we out of here. I don't know how many this is. Uh, one. Okay. <laughs> so down to square one again. And then we gotta find. Uh... So I'm obviously glad we came this way. I knew there was a reason to keep going. Like you know, like just because it seemed like the end doesn't mean it's really the end of the trail, especially since this keeps going. So. But we also haven't done everything in here. We haven't found the booble. Uh, so let's go. Oh no, my platforms are gone. All right, well, Maniru, I think I can ride a Maniru, right? Let's go. There you go. I think I can just walk across this, right? Yes, perfect. Okay, and then 
Furthermore, we have to get into the next area as well. Which probably has the booble. What is this? What the heck is this? Oh, that's where the stone was. <laughs> I was like, what? Now here's a question, is there anything behind here? Maybe so. Yeah, see, there you go. Oh, one of these guys. Well, definitely, I'll definitely take the sapphire. You know, Bo. And the opal. And you know, Bo will help me out again. Goodness gracious, so much to comb through. Okay. Dude, these just keep going. Oh, here we go, finally. Uh, let's, oh, hold on, we're almost to the, the next area. You know, Bo, uh, go ahead and hit over here. Yeah, look at that. And where is this? Well, there's the or well, the guy we've been looking for. Ooh. Booble gem. And then we have uh Ow. <laughs> Ow. I don't know. Just Oh, nice. A treasure of some sort. Uh Let, let me out of here. I did not mean to get in you. Dismount. Oh, that's good. Mighty crossbow with durability up. That crossbow will last me a while. A ruby as well. Flint. I know I have over 100 flint to turn in. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, you know about. Let's go. Well, we got the main reason that we're here. So really, we're just doing a little more exploration. Love it. Now we're back to square one. Okay, great. So, oh, there's a little lizard I saw. I'm pretty sure my vehicle will no longer be available to me out outside of here, but. Let's head out. Because we got the booble gym. Yeah, I wish they didn't despawn. I'm just, I'm just gonna assume, lore-wise, they get stolen. <laughs> All right, I am curious what's further up this hill. Although not too curious. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble here. Uh, let's pull out. Um, I have this weapon. Also, it's not as hot, so I could pull out. Uh, put this back on. Uh, this, there you go. Let's sort this stuff by body part, by set. There you go. I don't know what's up here. Oh, I missed. 
Ow. How'd that miss? There you go. There is a shrine up there. And there's a shrine by the stable over there. I'm just curious what's what's up here. Oh, that made me wasn't the best. This uh, hammer is almost gone, by the way. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, no. All my. No. What the heck, dude? All right, whatever. I don't care. I'm not going to chase it down forever. Is that chest around here? Yeah, there's a chest. Yeah, oh, with a long throw, that's interesting. So this is basically like the top. Wait, what was this? What, no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. What do I do? 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 Oh help, 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 help. Oh god. Uh what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? This is not good for me. Uh here, let's uh I got one of them. I'm trying to do something here. Uh here, actually let me just do this. Let's do another one. Missed. Is it dead? I, I got it. Wow, I got it. Wow. Okay, cool. I got a dark clump. That's all I, that's all I, did I burn it up or something? That's all I got was a dark clump. Lame. Okay, well. Okay. I'm just curious where this is taking me. What is this? 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 Dark club. We about to hit Blood Moon. Yeah, we're about to hit Blood Moon again. All right, that's fine. We know the story of the Blood Moon. There's another lizard guy up here. We know. The blood moon is bad. And then... Oh boy, he's here, he's here. Someone else get him. There he goes. <laughs> I'll take that. I don't really know if there's a reason for me to be going this way. But I just, I, I started this path. And now I just want to see what it's at, at the end. Ow, dang. Totally forgot about that, by the way. Wow. I mean, now I, I do feel like I kind of reached the end of it, so, so, so to speak. Probably not this weapon, honestly. This weapon is not good. Let's use, let's use this rock hammer and just throw it at him. <laughs> and then let's, uh, let's go to this flux core pulverizer or whatever. There you go. I really don't know what kind of path I'm on. I'm following these red lights, honestly. Like that's kind of what I'm doing. Is I'm just kind of following these red lights because I mean I started like this. So what is this? That 
That looks big. Let me go in here. Is, is that the Korok? Cool. And he's gonna have something something to say as well. This might be a boss. Like a cool boss that we could take care of right now, maybe. Although I keep finding you know what, I keep finding these stupid bones and I gotta wonder, like am I supposed to reconstruct like a dragon? Oh no, never mind. <laughs> uh let me eat. And then I'll probably Uh, let me eat dubious meat. This is a boss, right? There you go. There it is. There you go. Igneo Talus. That did nothing, by the way. Oh, God. How do you fight this thing? I totally forget. Where's uh, Riju? Riju, we need you. Riju, where the heck is Riju? Riju, don't run up to him. Riju, come here. I gotta know if this will help a little bit. Get close to him. There you go, that was a cool hit. I gotta, I gotta probably put on my gear that makes it a little bit better. If I have to, I mean, I might have to run up on him, right? And then, uh, sword-wise, I mean, I'm gonna need something better than this. I'm gonna need like, at least it's 47, I think. Am I supposed to climb? Okay, forget about climbing. Good God. Good God. Uh. Miss, I only have nine arrows. Are you joking, kidding me right now? All right. Dude, he keeps. What's the what's the move against this guy? Read you. Come here. The move is we're gonna try to get up uh, and attack him. That didn't work. Ow, man, it's hot up there. Here's another move. Wow. Uh, okay. Wait, I thought my left hand had a fire hydrant on it. I don't think this is working at all. All right. <sighs> what is the move? Uh... I can't seem to walk up on him like I want to. That doesn't do anything. I don't know how to beat this guy. I'm gonna try though. That doesn't do anything. Is this only weakness the top part? He's gonna reach down. I don't remember how to fight these from the previous game. Wow. Thanks, fairy. Yeah, I don't know how to fight this guy. Other than like a fire hydrant, maybe. I don't know. <sighs> I just eat a bunch of meat really quick again. <sighs> uh. 
Okay. I don't, I don't have arrows either right now. So, okay. Let me think about this. Let me take out one of these uh, hydrants. And let me get on this guy. And let me attach this to my left hand. Wow, that hurt. Good hit. There you go. Don't be mad about this. Get off of him, dude. No! Oh my god. Well, that was a step in the right direction, honestly, but I can't believe I died doing that. Whatever, we'll fight him later at some point, I'm sure. I don't feel the need to, like, destroy him right now. I need to get a lot more armor, a lot more everything before we fight something like that. I just got the Korok here. That's good. I, I, and actually, the, the main thing I was wanting to do is follow this. I almost wonder if we attach a hydrant like above him so that it just like constantly sprinkles down. I don't know. What is this up here? Another bone piece. I literally don't know what all these bone pieces are for. This is very similar to what we had before. Uh, there's another one of these over here. Okay. This is interesting. I think, let's see what's behind here really quick. I think I have now uh, I got this. Let's just use this boulder hammer. Good find. Is this where we came from? What is this? Oh, we've been here. All right, now we're here. Yeah, this is okay. We, we've been okay. I know where we are. Funny enough, I know where we are. Um, let's go. Oh shoot! <laughs> oh shoot! Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. I want to go back to that that stable <laughs> right over here. So let me just go back here, and then we will uh, do the shrine next to the stable. We'll solve the the mystery or whatever, and uh, I think we'll be set. Uh, let's see. Let's load in. I don't know what's going on outside. I hear a noise. All right. This is where we want to be, and we want to just launch up here super duper quick. It's raining. And we have the stable, which is where? You know what I should do? I should just put a mark. Stable's right over here. Okay, yeah, there it is. Wait, am I even going the right way? No. <laughs> there we go, over here. Oh, wow. Wait, glide, 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 what? Wait a second. Wait a second. I don't know if I can get there in time, but there's a, uh, a star piece, star fragment. Again, I don't know if I can get there in time. I've marked it, come on, let's get there. Let's try. Let's try. Let's go. Dude, I don't know if I can get there. This is so far away. I 
I just don't trust I have what it takes to get all the way over there in time. Oh, whoa, there's a big dragon there. Or I don't think it's, uh, it's gone. It's gone. Forget it. Forget it. It's gone. Instead, we will go to this. Oh, no. Oh, great. Hold on. I thought that was a sign guy for a second. All right. This is the shrine I want to do before we end the episode because it's the shrine near the stable, which will give us a fast travel point to the stable. But we also got to talk to the people in the stable and do the uh, and com complete the news mission or whatever it is. What the heck is that? There's something here too. Hold on. Oh, it's okay. What in the world? Dude, what? I don't know. I mean, it seems like I'm almost there, right? There it is. <laughs> Another Korok, and of course, yeah, there's something terrible happening at your forest or something. I'll check it out eventually. Something weird, not terrible. It's weird. Uh, the shrine is where? Okay, over here. There we go. Hey, lizard. And a well I need to check out. So, yeah, we still got a little bit more left. And a cave over there. Oh, boy. Um... Let's do the shrine because this will help me. Uh, kissing on a shrine. I'm kissing on a shrine. <laughs> well, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> next. Let's get in there and let's solve this one. This will be our second one of four that we need to do. Kissing on a shrine. All right. No recall if possible. Wind power. That sounds like. We're going to be using wind to power through this sh shrine, right? What the heck? What in the world? Just curious if this will do anything. I mean, I really need more... Uh, <laughs> I might be thinking of this the wrong way. I am I am kind of turning this out, aren't I? No, I'm not at all, really. What the heck? All right, let me see here. I don't know what this shrine is even trying to tell me. There you go. Basically. And we need to shut this down. Easy, right? 
That's it. Now we need to get up there somehow. Ow! <laughs> Ouch! All right. All right. There we go. That's pretty straightforward right there. I mean, it's another nice bow. Uh, I already have one, really. We could get, I don't know. I mean, the other bows are strong. I'm just, dang it, but I have to take it. Let's just ditch the one that we just picked up. Drop that one, we'll pick up this new one, and then we have the treasure for this shrine. And then so now we're gonna go over here and leave. I want to do that cave also, and then I want to report back into the to the uh, to the area. A light of blessing, thank you. All right. The cave was over here, I believe. Yeah. I don't know what the camp thing here is for, but there's clearly a cave. Oh, there's people here. What's going on, guys? What is this? How are there so many? Uh, I really thought we found it, too. Ah. Uh, who knows how long it would take to open all of those one by one. My arms are tired just thinking about it. And every single chest we open, we find like the same thing, a green rupee. It's like they're messing with us. What's the matter? Huh? Oh, shh, Preston, hush up. Uh, you again, you're the guy from before. Don't you have anything better to do than to eavesdrop on us? Uh, What's your deal? Wait, don't tell me. You came to this cave to find Misko's treasure too. Uh -huh. Preston, don't s just say that, shh. Ah. Ack, I mentioned Misko's treasure, didn't I? Sorry, Dak. Misko's treasure. Uh? Yeah, yeah. So we're t we're gonna swoop ah. in and snag it. So I'll find it. Don't uh. worry. So they they don't care. Oh. Food or something to get it to like us, and then it'll lead us to the treasure. Uh? I was being sarcastic, person. Uh. Sorry, Dak. Is that a joke? I have food if the dog wants it. I don't think this dog cares one bit. I'm gonna go in here and see what this treasure is all about. Because at the very least, it's gonna be a cave that we're gonna, you know, probably find the find what we need to. I think. Uh, the booble's gonna be in here too. Yeah, there's the there's the booble guy. Surprise! And that's the main reason I'm here. And then, uh, furthermore, we will see what is going on in this place. I don't know how big this is gonna be. Luminous stones, treasure, treasure. They're all gonna be green. Is that is that the case? What is this? Yeah, green rupee. Green rupee. I don't know if I'm ready for this area, honestly. I mean, I'm opening them all, of course. This seems like a waste of time, but whatever. I need to take all the ones I've opened and just kind of like put them away. Like, hey, I've opened this one, this one's open. Should be easy to find the ones that are open and the ones that are not. Yep. 
I gotta wonder what this what this door is for though. I mean, do I really need to open all these? It seems like I don't, but but let me do it anyway. Maybe maybe the secret is opening all of them. What, what's what's over here? This is a door of some sort. And I don't know what to do with it. This is weird. I truthfully don't know what to do about this place. There's so many chests, it seems ridiculous that I'd have to do, do all of them. How, how is it clicking like that? I don't know. Get out of here. Dang it. I missed it. Maybe I'm supposed to do this. I wish there was a faster way to open them, though. Let me try just dislodging them all first. I truthfully don't know what this place is about. I don't know if eventually, like, I'll have a method. Oh, there's another one I did, did not dislodge, so maybe that's... Here we go. This is what I mean by, like, maybe I need to move all of these. There's another one I didn't dislodge. There's another one I didn't dislodge yet. <laughs> I don't know what this place is about. This is so confusing. All right, so let me just gather all the ones that I have opened. Let's put over here in a pile. They gave me a clue, and I kind of ignored it, so... Let's see what their clue says really quick. I want to see if I can just kind of do it on my own, but let's see what the clue says really quick. What did you guys say again? If one of us, if only had a nose like a dog, then we could sniff out the treasure. Oh. Okay, give the dog some food. Ah. It'll like us. How do I give him food? Here, have some meat. I, you know, I gave, I tried to give you an apple before. Maybe that was the problem. I gave you, I tried to give you an apple when maybe you were just like raw meat. Hey, you want you want this? There you go. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. I got a dog with me. I got like four spirits and a, and a construct. Is the dog coming along? The dog's not even following me. Hey. Wanna follow me? You're my friend now? Follow me. Oh, maybe I gotta give him more than just one. 
Here's a big one. That's a big one, buddy. That's a good one. All right, will you follow me now? Come on, dog. Don't be so slow. No, wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, how? Dog, come over here. I gotta make like a trail for him. Like, what's gonna convince this guy to? Dog. Come on, dog. Try that piece. Three times a charm, maybe? All right, come here. I got another one for you. And then I guess I'll just drop one here. Yeah, come on, buddy. Maybe this is how you're supposed to do it. Lead the dog this way. Come into the cave. There's another one. He's ignoring this meat. What about here? Wait, what? No, come on. Come on, dog. Come on, buddy. Yeah, there you go. I don't know how uh, how I have to do this, you know? Come over here, bud. Why are your eyes glowing green? Maybe I'm overdoing it, I don't know. Come on, buddy. No, 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 no. Come here. Dog, are you kidding me? Dog, no. Okay, maybe he likes me enough now? Like, I gave him enough food that he's finally like, yeah, this is great. Let me show you. Okay, wow. I dismissed my, my allies thinking that maybe... Okay, I think he's had enough steak. I dismissed my allies thinking that maybe he was, uh, they were interfering with him, but I think I, he's finally eaten enough steak that he's just ready to go. Uh, maybe I should have made him some food or something. I don't know. Uh, so where is this treasure? Which one is it? I mean, I could have just opened them all. Yep. I mean... Okay. Hot weather to Ember trousers. Trousers. So could I have just op? Whoa! Hey, what'd you do? Could I have just opened them all up my own without using the dog? I don't even know. Oh <sighs> no way! There are like a million chests in here. How did you do that? Okay, yeah, we tailed you. I admit it, but we never thought you'd actually find it. We've been hunting treasure long enough to know the rules. Finders keepers. We're not going to try to take it from you. Uh -huh. Yeah, no matter how cool it is. So jealous. Any treasure left in there? You know what? I'm going to look for myself. Out of the way. Hmm, treasure, you in there? Aha! Uh -huh. uh. Oh, darn, this is a regular old bottle. What? Oh. I don't think we'll find anything else around here. Come on, Prison, let's go find ourselves another cave. Ah! Uh. You got it, Dak. Prison and Dak. Complete. Okay, great. So, uh, to those who have found my treasure, these ember trousers are but one piece of my grand collection. I have hidden an assortment of equipment around Hyrule, notable pieces obtained in strange lands near and far. You've done well to find this one, and I will reward you with a hint to another, the Fierce Deity Sword. Don the form of the Fierce Deity and return to this place. There are three keys you will need. One beneath the bedchamber of Akala's Red Crown Citadel. One in the Skull's left eye. One in an old stump in Hyrule's Field. Good luck, the great bandit Misko. So I guess I would return here. 
something would allow me to open this door, apparently. So, okay. Well, I wasted a lot of meat on that dog. And I can, you know what, let's summon the things back that we that we turned off really quick. Uh, turn this back on. I don't know why they're not in order. Sort. They're, now they're basically in order. Okay, great. <laughs> and then uh, I left some meat behind. I thought I'd have to make a trail for this dog, but it finally like was like happy enough with what we did. So what now? Uh -huh. I think I've narrowed down where those old manuscripts could be referring to. Yeah, I'm sure of it. Oh. Way to go, Dak. You're a genius. Mm -hmm. hmm? Sorry, what? Huh? Oh, come on. Can't we have one brotherly conversation without you listening in? Huh. Yeah, we're not going to tell you one word about the bandit Misko's old manuscripts. Huh. Prison, why? Why did you say that? Ah. I did it again, didn't I? Sorry, Dak. Oh. Uh, that's fine. The treasure's as good as ours. And this guy never work out these riddles, even if we told him. Hey, buddy. Want me to tell you what the manuscript said? Tell me. <laughs> Thing is, I'm not about to give that info up for free. It'll run you a uh, hundred rupees. You got a deal. Oh. Pleasure doing business with you. Trust me, that was a steal. If you find the treasure, we'll it'll be worth way more than a measly 100 rupees. There are three manuscripts. Which you want to hear? The twins. Oh. All right, then. I discovered the green clothes of a man who admired fairies and have hidden them away. Solved my riddle to find them anew. In West Nakluta stands twins poised to duel. Each contains a cavern that faces the other. Show the little twin sign to the big twin to open the door to my treasure. Oh. That's what it says. <laughs> I bet your head's really spinning after all that. An amateur like you probably has no idea where to even begin. Good thing we've already puzzled everything out, right, Dak? <laughs> I mean, you're welcome to try putting your little rookie brain to the test. But we get those treasures in the bag. So what now? And so wait, do I do, I do another one? Ah. The guy is back. Well. What is it? Want me to tell you what the other manuscript said? Uh, tell me a new one. <laughs> All right, you got a deal. Mm -hmm. The pirate cavern. Oh. I discovered the green clothes of a man who admired fairies and have hidden them away. Solved my riddle to find them anew. A forgotten pirate cavern lurks at the foot of Cape Kales, overlooking the Nakluta Sea. The short, shrill oh. song of the wind through the lips will open the way to my treasure. That's it. Wow. Well. Uh, no. You only get one at a time. We've already solved both of these other ones, haven't we, Dak? <laughs> Naturally. There's no riddle that can't be solved once it falls into my hands. The one I gave you is pretty easy, though. If you think long and hard about it, you might be able to figure it out. All right, Pirate Manuscript. One more. Oh. And then, I mean, this is just giving me side quests, so let's let's do it. Tell me a new one. <laughs> oh. Oh. Last one. I discovered the green clothes of a man who admired fairies. Statues of the eight heroines reside in the desert. Eat into the valley carved into Himar's descent. And shine the light of day upon the t towering eight. The path to your treasure will open before oh. you. Huh. Oh. All right. Huh? Prison, no. It was a joke, Dak. All right, so we got uh, like three new side quests to do. And we also have uh, a shrine up here that I want to do before the end of the episode. And then uh, then we go back to the, to the, to the uh, place. I, wait. I just did this. <laughs> I'm so confused. I just did that one. I'm gonna go back here then and uh, oh my gosh, I'm just falling uncontrollably. Let's talk to the bird. The news will be done. He beat the monsters. Oh great, you came. Everyone, this is the one who did our survey team a great service defeating the monsters in just his underpants. Incredible. Please tell us how this is actually done. Um, excuse me. Uh, what's with all the wearing only underpants? Yeah, let's let's get everyone involved. Oh, sorry. I guess you haven't heard Princess Zelda's order for us, uh, all of us on the survey team yet. She said we had to leave the comfort of, of studying indoors. She ended it with these words. So prepare your mind, body, and then explore in underpants. Uh... No, I got the order too. That's why I'm all the way out here doing research. But what Princess Zelda really said was this. So prepare your mind and body and then explore all other paths. Not what you guys thought. Whoa, what's that? 
Then all this time we've spent doing our survey research in our underpants was a total waste of time? Hmm. Well, not entirely. Princess Zelda did say to strengthen our mind and body and to go outside to push ourselves to excel like never before. Is that not, is that not the spirit of what we were trying to do? Our methods as researchers have truly been tested. Uh. Come on, let's return to our work and keep this high standard forever. <laughs> all right. Mm. Uh huh, I see. So the chirps and warbles that started us off here really paid off in the end. What a story. The team here botched the listening part and went overboard with the doing part. Still, that's commitment. Well, one thing's for sure Princess Zelda really is a top notch leader. What a powerful inspiration mm. she is. We work together to chase four of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. More purple rupees. And just one other thing Tracy sent this as a, long, uh, as a bonus the froggy sleeve. Nice. Ah! It's a pretty rare gear that'll make it easier to keep your grip on walls, even on rainy days. It's not a pair of wings, but I'm sure it'll still help you reach new heights, partner. With that, I'll take wing. This story isn't going to write itself, after all. Oh. Soar long. Soar long, indeed. What a, this episode's been really full. I thank you guys for your support and watching. We got another uh, dream memory, whatever, and we'll get another one tomorrow. I'll see you then, goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.